Welcome aboard the new Normandy, Commander. I've been looking over the dossiers. I'd strongly recommend starting by acquiring Morden Solus, the Salarian professor on Omega. We know the Collectors use some type of advanced technology to immobilize their victims. We'll need him to develop a countermeasure to protect us. Without that countermeasure, we'll be helpless if we ever run into the Collectors. Acquiring Professor Solus seems like the most logical place to start. Who are you? I am the Normandy's artificial intelligence. The crew like to refer to me as Edie. Helmsmen aren't happy when someone takes control of a ship away from them. Especially Joker. I do not helm the ship. Mr. Moreau's talents will not go to waste. During combat, I operate the electronic warfare and cyber warfare suites. Beyond that, I cannot interface with the ship's systems. I observe and offer analysis and advice. Nothing more. I'm guessing it takes more than just the three of us plus Joker to fly this ship. The Normandy has a full crew. They're at their stations awaiting your orders. Final preparations for takeoff are complete, Commander. When you're ready to go, just pick a destination from the galaxy map and the CIC and I'll plot a course. Jacob and I should return to our posts. Come find us if you have any questions. Hello everybody, Rusted Ground here and welcome back to Mass Effect. As you can see, we have a new ship. It's a uh, presumably a better and improved Normandy. And I think we should have a look around. It looks amazing, in my opinion. I think it looks just, just great. Um, and uh, yeah, it seems that we can interact with a lot of people, we can have a private terminal here, we have a lot of things that we can interact with, so let's see, let's see what's going on here on the private uh, terminal. So, team status. Uh, select. Oh, hello there. Okay, okay, so this is the team, Jacob and Miranda. Oh, and we have slot for, what, nine more? Wow, wow, that's a that's a lot of uh, squad members here. I like that. Loyalty normal abilities pool incendiary ammo barrier barrier is inactive, I believe. Weapons heavy pistols and shotguns. Okay, and Miranda loyalty normal overload warp and slam, but slam is inactive. Submachine guns and heavy pistols as the weapons. Okay, that's interesting. Review your upgrades. Upgrades improve your squad members' powers, your weapons, and your ship, making mission success more likely. Acquire new upgrades by finding them on missions, purchasing them from stores, or research them using a research terminal. Holy smokes! Sh okay. Unread messages. Uh, hello? Message from Anderson. On the off chance that the rumors are true and you actually are alive, I need you to come and talk to me on the Citadel. A lot has changed in the last two years. You put me on the council and it's only fair that you be allowed to speak for yourself about what you've been hearing. Okay. Overlord. Shepard. One of our cells just went off the grid without explanation. Proje Project Overlord has been exper uh, experimenting with highly volatile technology and I need you to investigate. Their work is extremely compartmentalized compartmentalized, sorry <laughs> enough that I can't divulge operational details over this channel. You'll find them on the planet Aite Typhon system in the Phoenix messaging cluster massing cluster, sorry, please use care in this matter. Okay and rendezvous with Kasumi Goto. Shepard, at great cost and effort, we have tracked down the master thief Kasumi Goto and convinced her to work with you. For very few people have ever heard of her and fewer can claim to have seen her in person. 
She is unequaled at stealth and infiltration, and her skills will prove invaluable in your mission. Travel to the Zakera war Ward in the Citadel. There you will find a special ad terminal that differs from the usual. Input the password silence is golden to begin the rendezvous. Wow. Okay, okay. Archived messages. No new messages. And advanced combat training. What is this? Watch a training video on tactical use of pausing during combat. Watch a training video on personal and squad power usage. Uh, squad commands in real time. Uh, pff, oh. Okay, maybe we can... let's watch this video. After using a power, squad members must wait for their powers to recharge, as indicated by the power status light. On the power wheel, recharging powers are gray, while powers that are currently unnecessary or ineffective against your target mm -hmm. are red. Ammunition powers like cryo or incendiary ammo set weapons to enhanced modes. Unity revives fallen squad members, but requires metagel to use. Many attack powers are guided and can be aimed to hit enemies from specific angles and even around corners. Okay, but we already knew that. Anything new here? To use powers in real time, drag and drop them to the HUD and assign them to the number mm -hmm. keys. Yeah, we knew that as well. You can map your squad members' powers in the same way. Press Q and E to order your henchmen to attack, move to cover, nice. or take a position. Hitting C while in this mode will rally your squad members to you. For maximum tactical effectiveness, use squad member powers and your own in combination. Cool. Okay, okay, I like that. Uh, okay, I think we know about the squad command. Okay, okay, so this is our uh, per per Shepherd's private terminal, so it's our private terminal. Okay, that's cool. Let's uh, go and investigate Welcome here. Aboard, uh, Yeoman Chem Chambers, huh? I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. Um, okay. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, Kelly. Um, Anything else? Let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Okay. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure Is that you all? know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. Nice. Okay, that's good to know. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound? Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. Keep your distance? No, I'm, uh, I'm gonna just say it's good you're here. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? Well, what do you think of Cerberus? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests, advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. Okay, okay, don't, uh... <laughs> you're very, you're very loving. That's a very positive <laughs> attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Mm -hmm. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Um, I think so. How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the elusive man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated. Terrified, but mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. <laughs> okay, yeah. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. Um, 
<laughs> okay. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk it's about? It's a little bit strange for me to just see someone uh, so blindly trusting us. There you go. Okay. So I don't know how to Maybe take this we'll whole thing. Yeah, we'll talk later, uh, Kelly. Um, okay, let's uh, let's move around here a little bit. Codex updated. Okay, so we got some codex entries that we're gonna need to look into pretty soon. I hope you liked the previous codex entries. Um, okay, let's have a chat with Joker a little bit because we know him. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby. Better than new. It fits me like a glove. Yeah. And leather seats. <laughs> Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. <laughs> I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. Yeah, it's a little bit too good to be true. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. Exactly. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy mm -hmm. on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Yeah, dude, don't Good worry about it. Keeping it all in perspective, Joker. <laughs> uh, leather? <laughs> Joker, I'm very happy that you haven't lost your sense of humor, man. It's awesome. Um, yes, Shepard. Okay. Let's, um, let's talk about you. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Um, what do you actually do here? What do you do aboard the ship? <laughs> I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. Mm -hmm. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. What more monitoring devices? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus's resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Awesome. What can I say? Awesome. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Hmm. That sounds good. That sounds good. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Yes, you are. Well, might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Just putting it out there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> What, uh, what about those uh, monitoring devices again? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board. He has invested most of Cerberus's okay. resources into the design and construction of gotcha. this ship. He has an interest in monitoring... Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed. Some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Is it just me, or did she just change color? She was blue before and now she's red, right? When she speaks. Or it speaks. Restricted functions. Like Sorry. what? I do not know. I assume that when certain unknown Let's conditions see another are met, topic. those functions will be released. Let's discuss something else. Ready. Uh, tell me about Cerberus. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? Structure? How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Mm -hmm. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. Okay, and how many cells are there in total? So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than other AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Okay, well, that was expected, to be honest. 
What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from wow. answering that question. Wow, okay. What can you answer, though, E.D.? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering <laughs> that question. Okay. Let's discuss something yeah, else. Yeah, because you have a block on Ready. everything. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge, where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. <laughs> Okay, we, I think we got everything we could out of her. That's all for now. Logging you out. So, um, yeah, a little bit restrictive. And I don't like the fact that the elusive man has monitoring systems. Anyways. Okay. Anything else around here? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. I'm just going to basically walk around the ship. I just want to know what's going on here. Um, what is this again? What's this area of the ship? This is the combat information center. Here, the crew receives sensor data and coordinates gunnery and damage control efforts. Okay. While Normandy is flown from the bridge, during combat, the commanding officer issues orders from the CIC. Gotcha. Okay. Let's uh, let's look around here. It's very uh, light. Everything is very light in here. Weapons locker, huh? Ah, cool. Okay, so we can... Uh, nice. Okay, let's see here. Katana shotgun, shuriken machine gun. Wow, okay. Katana shotgun. Common military shotgun, deadly at short range, but ineffective at long range. Very uh, effective against shields and biotic barriers, but weak against armor. Manufactured by Ariaki Technologies, the katana is a common mercenary weapon and is also popular on colonies with veron infestation. Cool. Predator heavy pistol, reliable, accurate sidearm, effective against armor, weak against shields and biotic barriers. Maneuvered by Elanus Risk Control, the Predator is valued as a powerful, deadly, and relatively inexpensive weapon. While it is not generally deployed in the military, where kinetic barriers are common, it's still very popular in the terminus systems, where these defenses are less common, and so on. Okay, that's very cool that we can uh, find out stuff about um, the weapons. We can't change anything, though, by the looks of it. Not now. Okay, so we can just find out information about what everybody is equipping. That's cool. Cool. Let's talk to Edia a little bit. What's this area of the ship? <laughs> this is the armory, okay. where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Mm -hmm. Using Omnitool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new nice. models. Nice. That's, that's good to know. So we can manufacture weapons on the ship. That is good, and I presume this is like, uh, um, what, what do you call it? This is where you would put uh, the weapons that you find on the field, maybe? Because I, I see this grenade launcher here, so... Okay, we'll have to see. Let's uh, let's have a chat with Mr. Jacob here. Oh, check this out. Look at this, it's like we're in the Apple Store. <laughs> All the weapons are on display, right here. Nice, okay. Let's have a little chat with Jacob. Commander. There hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. Mm, yeah. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. Wow, okay. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. Cool. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. Really? What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I look forward to working with you, Mr. Taylor. Likewise, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, I'm beginning to like this guy. He's, uh, I think he's okay. He's okay, in my book. Um, yeah. Anything else around here that we can... Wow, check this out. Wow, okay, okay. Well, just gonna go downstairs. 
And oh, what is this? A scientist is required to use the technical laboratory. Really? Okay. Gotcha. What is this place here? What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. Gotcha. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. <laughs> quantum what? I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. Mm -hmm. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. Okay, that sounds useful. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. Mm -hmm. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one link to each world. Okay, gotcha now. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Thank you, Edie. Uh, wow, this feels like, like Big Brother. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. What what was that? Briefing calm room, okay. Let's um okay, so we can't enter the tech lab, which kinda sucks. A little bit, so let's just go downstairs, right? Or can we yeah, we can't see we Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. I'll uh, have a look. In a second, just uh, just need to go downstairs and check stuff out. Wow, captain's cabin. Yeah, let's go to the captain's cabin. Just want to look around here a little bit. Okay, nothing much around here. Just whoa, this is our cabin. Really, this looks nice. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships. I said, yeah. Though. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. a loft. Well, they are right. It looks like a loft. Check this out. Wow. Looks very cool. Wow, we even have music and stuff. Okay. Yep, yeah, looks good. Looks good to me. Customize gear. Oh, okay, we I think we've been through this. Um Uh, yeah, there's nothing much that we can... Okay, so... Maybe we should go with a helmet here. I like this one more. And the fact that we get 5% more... 5% uh, more health. That's good. Anyway, can we stop the music somehow? Can I stop the music? Please tell me I can stop the music. That's it. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's getting annoying at one point. Private... Whoa, what is that? That is a picture of Liara, isn't it? Hello. Achievements, huh? Nice. You can see the achievements now. Awesome. I like that. Okay, okay. Private terminal. We have unread messages. Um... Right? Didn't we have a... Okay, never mind, never mind. Just give me a second here. That's it, right? That's it. Okay, okay, never mind. Let's, uh, let's move out of here. Let's go and investigate the other parts of the ship. Combat... No, we've been here. Cruise quarters. Yeah, let's do that. 
I like this. I like the fact that you have multiple levels here. And look at this thing, man. Awesome. What is this? Crew quarters. Oh, she's a cutie. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Wow. Well, my nice. family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. 